I told you about Team Tiger, a group led by Texas philanthropist Eric Love. This case is ugly. He watched the Netflix series Tiger King, just like 34 million Americans, and started looking into Joe Exotic's case. In 2019, Joseph Maldonado Passage was sentenced to 22 years in prison for animal offenses at his big cat zoo in Winniewood, Oklahoma, and for plotting to kill his arch nemesis, animal rights activist Carol Baskin. She runs her own Big Cat Sanctuary in Florida. Eric says Joe was wrongfully convicted. When you take the totality of everything in this case, it's bad. It's real bad. And we're going to prove it. Joe's going to walk out of prison. How often do you talk to Joe? Every day. I talk to Joe's power of attorney, Ann Patrick, on the phone. She and longtime zoo manager John Rinke say they were ready to testify in Joe's trial, but they were never called. How do y'all not need... The guy that ran the zoo for 14 years, I said, the defense didn't use me. The prosecution didn't use me. How is that even possible when I knew everything that was going on around that place? I, I just thought that was insane. Not one of those charges would have stuck if they had let me and Rinky testify. They told me about evidence that never came up in the trial that they say proves Joe didn't commit the crimes. This will not leave my sight. Team Tiger says their group of attorneys put all the details in a 257-page petition. This is somebody's entire life. This is their freedom. Delivered in a Tiger Mobile to Washington, D.C. And they traveled across the country in a huge bus with Joe's face on the side. The undisputed Netflix champion, Joe Exotic. All to send this message to the president. Pardon, Joe Exotic. I'm a passionate person. When I believe something, I'm going I'm to go to the dirt for it. But now he's going to the air. Team Tiger out here in Fort Worth, Texas, meet your airfield. Team Tiger wrapped an airplane and called it Exotic One. Again, with Joe's face on the side, mullet and all. If you're going to fly the Exotic One, you might as well be a part of the Exotic One. To get as much attention as possible, Team Tiger took off an Exotic One to Washington, D.C. on Wednesday. They sent me this video message when they landed. Good afternoon, Jana Clark, Fox 23, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Eric Love, Team Tiger, and John Rinke from the Tiger King. We have landed in Washington, D.C., and we are headed over to President Trump to ask him to sign an immediate pardon for Joe Exotic so we can get him home and get him to his father's funeral. Yeah. And today we need a sense of urgency, don't we, John? We do, we do. He's been in there plenty long enough. Let's get him out. Let's get him out. They arrived in time to join the Trump rally. That is a lot of people. A lot of people. Amazing. Well, there was tons of people. I have no idea how many people, but as far as you could see, there were people. Uh, it was extremely peaceful while we were there. Um, encountered no no major issues. But Eric says not long after they left, he got this emergency alert on his phone, announcing the citywide curfew for D.C. So we loaded up quickly, and we are headed to Manassas, Virginia to leave town. With the unrest at the Capitol, this is not the way Team Tiger thought their trip would go. Our prayers are for everybody to stay safe in Washington, D.C., unfortunate. Eric knows they're up against the clock for President Trump to issue a pardon for Joe. The latest events in D.C. make it more complicated. A pardon from Trump would be the biggest blessing. I know for an absolute fact Joseph didn't do this. I know he didn't do any of it. In his letter to me, Joe wrote, I can prove my innocence. I know that he's innocent. Our legal team knows that he's innocent. Do you think Joe will get out? At what's going on in today's world, I think Trump's going to pardon him. You really do? I really do. Joe ended his letter with, please help me, and signed Joe Exotic. Covering news that matters. Jana Clark, Fox 23 News.